Wait now, how do you feel about North Korea? Yeah. Huh? What do you think of Kim Jong Un? Yeah. Huh? Do you like yeah. Kim Jong Un? Congolese children mining for cobalt. Any thoughts? No. No. Nothing. Welcome back, everyone, to part two of episode two. Yes. We're going to sort out that system. Part two, episode two. two. Episode two, part two. We will be continuing the uh, yeah, we, unfortunately named intimacy questions. The intimacy challenge. Uh, we, ah. left, we left off with what is your most terrible memory? Yeah, and ended on a quite and depressing note. And we talked about our ambulance rides for yeah, a while. Bit of a sad note. So uh, what's, what's the next one? The next one is... If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you are now living? And why? Well, I wouldn't worry about college. I'll say that yeah, much. Yeah, don't go. i uh not planning on ending my life with cafeteria food. Yeah. Even though, you know, I don't think Hillsdale's is that bad. But um, let's see. Not doing an... Well, I don't know. Maybe I would do an internship. I Thinking about it, I'm planning on doing an internship with a videography company this summer and that would be cool that honestly is something i'm very interested in though i think is it would be fun i don't know what else i would do it's not like we have millions and millions of dollars of like yes i'll take the yacht out to the bahamas yeah, for the exactly. last year i guess we could get a loan and rent a yacht i can't we know decide. We're dying. i would either quit my job and just like I don't know, travel and like find odd jobs where I'm traveling and just like get as much experience as I can. Or I'd keep my job and work as much as possible in that year to try to save up money to pass on to. That's Emily. fair. And so I don't know which gonna, one I'd choose. You're going to see if you can kill yourself I would faster either, than the deadline. I would either give up my everything and just like travel and be poor for a year, just yeah. like be homeless for a year, which would yeah. be cool. That would be cool. Or, no, yeah, I think I would. I think I'd quit my job and just, like, be a train car hobo for a year. You know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be bad. Maybe I'd, maybe I'd join you. If I'd, we're both dying in a year. I'd make Emily come with me, and she wouldn't be able to say no because I'm dying in a year. That's so. fair. You, you and would have and I have a life insurance card. policy. So I'd be like, you're getting a ton of money when I die, so you have to come with me now, Okay. We have to do whatever I say. <laughs> okay. Now jump on this freight car. Okay. Yeah, I got no life insurance, so you don't need it. I'm not. I'm not worth anything. Who would even inherit your life insurance? No idea. Exactly. No clue. You want it? Sure. Again, you're not old enough. Hmm. Once you turn 18, then I'll take a policy out on you. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know Thanks. if I could. Comforting. I don't know if I could because, like, you, we're not. I think maybe brothers could. We're not. We're not but you partners. Can't, you can't just do it on like. You have to have an insurable interest. Like I, I don't know. What I that couldn't. Means. I couldn't just take a policy out on Ryan Reynolds right now. That's Because then it becomes go like, nail him with a bus. Like sports betting, but for people's deaths. Yeah. Like I'll take a policy out on you, and then you'll die, and then I'll get a bunch of money. You need uh, to be like connected suspicious. to them in an insurable way. Okay. You can't just do it to anybody. Fair. Anyways. All right. Next question. Mine, my answer is train car hobo. What, what did you say? Mine was do your maybe internship. do the internship, or maybe I would do train car hobo, except European train car hobo. Oh, yeah. I'm going to small town France, Bayo, France. Ooh, maybe I'd hike the One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So, yeah. I might just go there. And the people are awesome. I'd go be a farmhand somewhere. <laughs> you and I have very different, or at least slightly different ideas. All right. What does friendship mean to you? What are these questions? It's the intimacy challenge. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> what does friendship mean to me? Yeah. Uh, I would say above almost everything else, honesty. Mm. I think that's one of the most important things you want in a friend. That's your top word. Is somebody honesty. who will, like, is actually there to correct you if you're doing something you shouldn't be. You know, like, it, I'm almost a secondary conscience of sorts i think i don't know if i'm necessarily disagreeing with you maybe i am my my highest word would be loyalty 
And I don't know if that's honesty. Because I, you know, I've had a ton of friends where it's like, I know you're being stupid. You know you're being stupid. But then it's just like, I'll just let you be stupid and still be here after the stupid that's, blows over. That's true. But I, I'm not meaning honesty as in, like, I don't think that has to lump in hates fun. Well, yeah. No. I think loyalty and honesty are both. I think, I think I think yeah. I would put loyalty as my top. No, no, that's that's. Uh, I mean, that's uh, one of the lyrics in one of the script songs. Friends don't let you do stupid things alone. Mm. So I, you know, a good combination. Would oh be, yeah. They tell you, hey, this is stupid, but I'm hey, not letting you stupid. do it by Let's yourself. Oh yeah. All right, loyalty and honesty. Mm-hmm. I'd agree on that. What roles do love and affection play in your life? See, this We're is getting, getting intimate now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait for part three. Uh, gosh. <laughs> what um, roles do love and affection play in your life? Well, I mean... This is a weird question. English is a strange language, and a lot of modern languages are, in that we don't have many words for different kinds of love, mm. or like, just familial, We just use amiable. love for everything. Yeah, we, I mean, we have love and like, and that's it. Yeah. And that's a shame, because like, obviously there's a difference between, you know, my parents, my family... I love them. Yeah. I'm sure you don't love Emily and your family in the same exact way. I do not. That's, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, no, I would say. I don't. And so, yeah, I mean, I guess, obviously, love my family. And I have, I'm glad I have several really good friends who I would say I love. But again, it's like Different. the love between siblings in a way. It's yeah. not the same, but it's more it's on like that a, kind. It's like a chosen sibling. Yeah. Siblings you love. Yeah. Even though you hate them sometimes. Yes. Because it's like we're just, Mm -hmm. you know, we're stuck together. Friends, it's like, I actually prefer your company. Yeah. And I choose. So I think it's different. Yeah. What's your love language? My love language is, if we're doing the the five love language, love language. Obviously. Test Gary Chapman. What a guy. Shout out. Um, So I'm weird with a lot of tests. So Mm -hmm. my results on that have consistently been, and even just looking at myself and trying to evaluate it. I have three that are just tied for the top, which is quality time, physical touch, and gifts received. Really? I basically just want Christmas. Your physical touch? I want a very close Christmas. Yeah. I which is weird because I I'm bad at hugs. I wouldn't I'm one of that. the worst huggers on earth. Mm. I'm terrible at reading like the proper timing and stuff for that. But when people give me you, hugs, you and Emily, I enjoy it. You're in there with the champ. You know? She's the worst <laughs> really? hugger on okay. the planet. Well, I, I yeah. just don't know what to do. And I'm always doing the, like, back pat thing. Yep. Which is, oh, yeah. Which is, she even back pats me when we hug. I don't know. She's like, okay. I, I don't even right, do it buddy. on purpose at this point because I know it's like, oh, that's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. But I can't help myself. I'm like, the, there's no movement what happening. What else am I going to do? Something needs to be do happening. You rub? Oh, no. No? No chance. Ru- that's, like, but again, predatorial. Yes. Rubbing? It's like. That's got to be real, real intimate. Easy now. Yeah. You know? Um. So those are tied. And then the other two, which are acts of service and words of affirmation, do not make any sense to me. You're not words of affirmation? No, I'm not words of affirmation. Uh, You are words of affirmation. I'm not. No, I'm not. Because we have talked about this and we agree that somebody, nothing makes me madder than someone going out of their way to compliment me. Oh, yeah. Like if I do something, say I made dinner or something. I made a meal um, and it was good. If somebody, like, after dinner comes over and takes the time to say, hey, I just wanted to let you know that was a really good meal. That was great. You did a great job. I will Shut actively up. want Shut to up. punch them in the yeah. face. What? Stop If it. it's good. There's two outcomes. If it's good. If it's good, I, I already know. knew that. Exactly. And you're wasting my time. I know. And or if it's bad, you're just straight up you're lying. lying to my face. Yep. 100%. Those are the only options. Those are the only okay, options. Okay, so we agree on if that. If any, like, if... if dad or mom would tell me that I did a good thing when I was a kid. Like, if I did yeah. a task for them or did something, dad was like, wow, you did really good on that. Like, I know. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Yeah. I, I know. Or, I, just seems, or like, no, I it didn't. It seems so Why are you unnecessary. Lying? It's either a lie or it's useless words. Either way, wasted time. Yes. I couldn't agree more. Depletes the efficiency of, the, of yeah. the situation. Uh, words of affirmation is also my lowest. Yeah, which is funny, and it, I think it's in how those play out is you're not always, what you give isn't always what you like to get. Oh, I agree. 100%. Because turns out I've learned from talking to, like, meeting friends and, I don't know, going on the summer trips and to Summit, that I'm actually really good at words of affirmation of giving that and to other people. Really? I think because I've grown up with dad and Lane are both 
very words heavily, of affirmation. Heavily words. So I've gotten good at that. And I don't even do it intentionally at yeah. this point. Like people just, I've think. gotten on that subject and people are like, oh no, you're super good with that. And I'm like, I am? That makes me feel like an awful person because I would hate if yeah. someone did that. I, I, you're very right because I'm probably the best or I'm very good at giving, what's it called? Tasks. You're giving tasks as we were talking yes, about in the first I'm, episode. I'm giving tasks. See, that's using what's the it words called? correctly. What? Acts of service. Acts of service. There yeah. it is. Yeah. Tasks of because service. Because mom is incredibly acts yeah. of service. And so I think that's my first. Somehow I never picked that up. That's my first instinct. In or, like of, yeah. of languages to give. I acts of service. How can I show you I love you? I'll do this for you. I. That's 100%. Gifts. I'm also very physical touch. Physical touch yeah, is my yes, top. Yes, you are. Receiving. So that makes it my top giving. Like Emily's always pushing me up because I just go up and hug yeah. her and just like. I guess. No, I would her. say with physical touch, I'm fine with my family. Mm -hmm. With other people. No, not. I am Mr. Anti PDA like as much as possible, yeah, even though I don't necessarily want to be. I just naturally am. Gifts are something that I think I'm good on both sides. I'm terrible. I love at getting, getting gifts. gifts. I like getting gifts if and it's a good gift. And I love and I think I'm good at giving them. I, I'm not I'm not good at like the it's it's this person's birthday now, go get them a gift. Mm -hmm. But naturally, if I'm tra if I'm going somewhere or if I'm at yeah. a museum or something, I'm, I'm automatically first thought when I go to the gift store is, well, oh, maybe. I can buy this and give that to that yeah. person or no, not, not you. Not me at all. I I used to think I hated getting gifts. But I've learned that I actually really do like gifts if it's a good gift. Like if it's really like, wow, how did you know what I would like without me telling you? Okay, that's that's fair. incredibly meaningful to me. But if it's like, here's this random thing. It, like if you give me something I would have bought with my own money, you like phenomenal it. gift. If you give me something that I wouldn't have bought, it's just like, that's now see, I'm stuck that's, with this trinket. That's different from... Now I'm stuck with this trinket. What am I going to do? That's different and from gifts received people though. Giving gifts... Horrible at. I am awful, awful at giving gifts. You need, like you, people got to drop major hints. hella hints for me. Just tell me what you want. I don't know. I'm terrible at that. Terrible I never know what I want, gifts. so I can't give hints to people. I know exactly what. Well, I want. no, I know what I want. I'll give you like an itemized list of what no, I. No, I know what I want, and but like not in the range chart. of reality. Mm. Like I would, I would be like, yeah, I mean that forty thousand dollar camera. That's sweet. I hope one day I can afford that. Yeah. Other than that, I can't give people anything. Yeah, like little cheap stuff in the gift purchasing range. I'm just like, that's not a quality product. I don't want it. You know? No, but like gifts receive people. Like I am definitely of this nature that mm -hmm. if somebody was like, I saw this blade of grass and man, it, it really made me think of you. Here you go. That means so much to me. Really? Yeah. No. Well, I'd be like, you, well, now I am stuck with a blade of grass. Yeah. Thanks a lot. No, I would like, I would frame that. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Not at all. Okay, next question. We took a while on We that took a one. while on that. Talking about love. It's the intimacy challenge. It gets love you. Love languages. It gets you. Love languages. Yeah, the it's... personality tests will get me going, but... All right. Yeah, all right. Partner. Oh. Alternate sharing something you consider a positive characteristic of your partner. Share a total of five items. Wait, what? Al wait, say it again. So I compliment you, you compliment... This is words of five affirmation. Times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we'll have to hug Five next. times? Yeah. Five items each. It's like drafting personality traits. Okay. Of the other person. I'll take, um, well, now I can't think of the word for it. Uh, well, this comes out insulting. Emotional emptiness. Oh, thank you. Well, I don't know. Controlled. You're not somebody who stability? gets flustered very easily. Except by me. Emotional stability? I'm good at making you mad. Oh, yeah. Most other people aren't. There's very few people who can get to me, but the ones that do, do very easily. Yeah, I'm, You I'm, and mom. I'm aware of that. Which is set me why off. we should never play a board game. Specifically in that context, yeah. you and I are the worst. Not great. So we'll, no, but I'll take that. The, my, the positive side of that. My emotional You emptiness. don't get flustered. Thank you. And I think that, you know, uh, I will well. take your... How am I trying to say this? You're always down to just do stuff. Oh, I thought you were saying if like, I'm like, yo, like Charlie Brown. No, no, of, okay. no. Just like, what's the Bud Light? Up for whatever? Down for whatever? Uh, you're always up for whatever. If I'm like, Case, we're doing this now, or come with me, we're doing this, or you're doing this with me, you're like, okay. 
I guess so. And it's, yeah, it's good. I don't have very strong opinions. About I was going to say your team player but you're not a team player in all circumstances. No, if I'm we're not. trying to decide what movie to watch, for no. instance, you are the worst. And you're like, I'm, I'm not, not watching. I'm not unless as we're watching. Bad. Well, okay. Okay. I've had, that, that was when you I've were had younger. instances that was when you were where I have absolutely just stonewalled. You were just like, uh, okay, I'm leaving. Admittedly. I'm not, you know, unless we're watching what I want, I'm leaving. Mostly, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. And I think I actually err on the other side now, typically, of I don't have enough opinions. Mm. Like, if Me people, too. If people are like, do you want to watch this or this? I'm like, yeah, Whatever. sure. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. I'll get into anything. Yeah. I'm very... Easy. I'm opinionated on ideals, not on realities, though. Yeah. Like, if somebody's like, oh, man, which color shirt should I get? I'm All like, right. I don't know. They Shut look up. good. Compliment me. Okay. Uh, five? My mustache. Five each. Just say my mustache. Five each. Nope. Say not going to go there. I'll say mustache if you say beard. No. Okay. Jedediah then no, it's... Godet. I'm not going to compliment Jedediah. Your beard. Brother Jedediah. Brother Jedediah. Brother Jedediah. And I think it's a B. It's Jebediah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, my hair. Hmm. No. Um, my full head of hair. You, you're not dainty. Thank you. You're like, I mean, you wouldn't be like, oh man, that'll mess up. I don't know my shirt. So no, I won't do oh, that. Anything. Like even if you were dressed up well and we were like, hey, we're, I don't know, we're playing wiffle ball, we're playing football, I'm playing in. spike ball. I'm in. You would be in like, okay, I'm in I'm a suit. In. Let me throw off the jacket. We're good. Yeah. I ruin a lot of clothes. But in a good way. Now that you're yeah. not giving me hand-me-downs, in a good way. Yeah. Before, would have they appreciated less mustard stains. Yeah. In the ones that did. I, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's, it's Back not to really, you, Jim. It's not really a choice. Like, if I am thinking, I'll be like, oh my gosh, no, this shirt is nice. But then you tempt me with, like, a game of spike ball, and there's yeah. nothing I can do. I'm playing. I have to. I need Sorry, to win. You do have to. I, yeah. Um... You have good taste of like, well, our music taste varies a little bit, mm. but like. That's mainly just because I don't like country. Art or like a movie or a book. Love talking books with you. Just like. We have. Just we talking have, about ideals yeah. and we're both able to talk about like more than just like, that's cool. But like. Why is it cool? Why is it cool? What what are the cool what, parts what are about the different it? parts yeah. of this book and this character? Yeah, like yeah, we can talk deep about characters and stuff. Like even talking about uh, now, I just blanked on the book. Is Fahrenheit four fifty one? Yeah, or uh, Brave New World. Both great books. Yes, I mean I haven't Very finished Fahrenheit four five one, but Brave New World. I think I like better. But they're it's both, real good. They're it, both very, it's really ah, sad. No, I don't Brave know New if World I do. is so sad. Ray Bradbury is so good great writer, at writing great imagery that I might like Fahrenheit for. Brave New World made me so sad reading that though. That's just like one of the more depressing books yeah. I've read. But very, very still, good, still very good. So good. But yeah, you have you have good high high class taste. Thank you. What number are we on? This is three. We've each done two. Oh gosh, five uh, is a lot. Let's we can stop at three. Three. Let's okay. do one more. Just for, for time's time sake. sake, yeah. Um, We do have to speed up a bit. We have two more questions. Okay, that, we should be able to fit that in. I'm not saying your mustache. Mustache, no. come on. We're, we'll do, like, this is this is character traits. My, a mustache is not a character trait. No. It is if you let it. No. Well, you shouldn't. You keep him out. <laughs> um, let's see. I would say enthusiasm, and this is something that I would also say about, like, Lane and I hope me to some extent, but you're, not to copy your compliment of me, but, like, mm. w I think as a family, we're good at saying. big idea, man. Yeah. Idea. Like, just being like, yeah, yeah what if we did like this? getting on the what side if we did of this? something. Yeah, or, like, the amount of, I would say good ideas for TV shows or books or, show, or movies or whatever. Yeah. If Our, somebody suggests something, we're very easy. If we had like, enough money, that sounds we awesome. would have what an, what an Let's empire. Let's do it. Oh and gosh, also yeah. people to be like, if I could just here, like, complete this idea. Go do this idea. Go make the pistol shrimp. If I was an idea man, I'd be rich. That, I, that needs to be a job. The pistol shrimp? No, well, uh, oh, idea, idea man. man. Yeah. I think it is. I think that's what big... Moguls? Yeah. Moguls <laughs> are idea men. Like the Shark Tank people? The no, but sharks? they also do it. 
Not at oh. this point in their career. They did it, but now they're just idea men, I think. Maybe. I think they're just like, here, I just bought this family on, or this company on Shark Tank. Go make it work, little underling. Or you're fired, and I'll get That'd a new That'd be nice. One. That would be very nice. You know? All right, next question. Oh, wait, you have to... Dang um, it, you were going to get out. You're yeah, smart. The, the third you're a smart hard, cookie. But... Thank you. You're just kind of a nerd, but in a good way. Like, you always okay, know... Okay, thank you. You know a ton of facts about, like, animals or you know and a lot tech of random things. You just, like, research more than I do. So if I'm ever curious about something, like when I was buying my phone or anything, I was just, it, you're like Google. I was just like, Casey, what's what phone should I get? What are the pros and cons of each phone? And you're just like, blah, 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 blah. This one's smaller. The, this one's cheaper, but it has a better. I mean, this, obviously, it has this, 13 mini. It has this, this, this. You know? It's like walking around with Marques Brownlee. I know a lot of random facts. Yeah, you do. And it's helpful. Sometimes. And you're just like smart overall. That's that's how it shows, but yeah, that's oh, my compliment. You. You're you're smart. All right, next question. There better not be hugging involved here. I will Hug walk each out. Other for five I will minutes. walk out. Yep. No, that's not what it says. Thank you. That's not what it says. Um, how close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most other people's? Okay, uh, I would say our family yes. is very close. I don't know warm? other people's child. That well. I would say our warmness is different. Our, are, the I way we think, show affection for each other is very different. I don't different. think others. I wish Emily was here for this question because she would rip our family apart. Yeah. Well, we're brutal. The way we're, that we show affection, we seem like jerks just yelling to each at each other. other. Yeah. All the time. Yes. Tearing each other apart. I will fight you on any given topic. But like any any little mistake is. You're torn to shreds. Oh, yeah. You better not slip up. We're just a family of bullies, yeah. but we're all but bullies. But we're all bullies, so and we're all happy about it. Yeah. We have the toughest skin. Imaginable. And it bounces off, so we're all fine. Yeah. But yeah, we are, I would say that my childhood was way happier than most. I can't yeah. really compare, I don't, I'm not like digging well, into mean, homes, other people's childhood trauma. Homeschooling helps with that, because you were But I definitely have had, a lot of, like, I love my childhood. Free time and stuff. I have no, like. Both of us were. No sadness or trauma. Trauma, trauma from quote air quote is what I did. To well, our they should be able to see. People. That's why you watch the YouTube channel. That's why you folks. watch you, you should. You would have seen me. Yeah. Do air quotes. Anyways, or or both. Air quote trauma. Yeah. I don't have any of that from my childhood. Yeah, I don't think it's good. I mean, except for I enjoyed it. Hospital visit. Well, yeah. If that counts, none of that but is like family. Emotional, related. family related. No, yeah, I've no. got nothing. Mm -mm. No baggage. I have some baggage, but. It's it's just like the way our family is yelling at each other, yeah. debating on everything. It hinders your ability to make friends, interact with yeah. those from outside the God at yeah. house, the normals who like to the normies compliment uh, each other, do not like and be kind to each other. Yeah, it is a fun experience bringing people into our like house, marrying someone into else. our household on a game night. Who's never been there? Oh my god! It's just it's like watching. They're like you it's people like are monsters. As if you, I don't know, brought a chimpanzee into the middle of New York City. Mm -hmm. It's just utter. What on earth is happening? Terror. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, for somewhat good reason. Yeah. We're loud and. Yeah. Again, jerks. That's things that would put a Victorian era child in a coma. Coming to a god game night. Game. Yeah. I think if you sit him down for in, sure at a chair at the table while we're playing Catan. I think he would. Mm. You know, or Pitt. He'd have an aneurysm. Or Pitt. Oh my gosh, he'd have an aneurysm. I mean, playing somebody Pitt. else might too. Yeah, most people do. We've still never played Pitt with Emily. We gotta do that. I know. Or maybe not, because she would hate it. I mean, it. you want your marriage to stay together. She would so. hate it. But we got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a rite of passage. All right, last question. Last question. How do you feel? Wow. Don't. What you, is this? How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Did Freud write these? It's very... Uh, man. We're digging deep. Uh, good. Uh, same with the childhood thing. I think, from what I can tell, mom was, like, great compared to other people. I think we had a, a good amount of, like, strictness and encouragement in what we wanted to do i think so too if it was for a good reason like if we wanted to do something stupid i think there's not really raised us really nonsense. well yeah i think 
Well, my relationship with mom, very good. Yeah. I think I was her favorite when I was in uh, high school. Uh, oh. I don't think oh, I am in now. Your, in your, wait. I think, you know. Of us go, or of you? Like, at, of your different points no, in of life? No, of all of us. I, oh. think, I think when I was in high school, mom liked me He's better delusional. than you two. You're delusional. That's what I think. Because you go through waves of, like, seasons of life where you're super close seasons and of... then where you're not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fair. You know? Yeah. That's shocking. When we were younger, that's I don't think we were super close. Surprising because... that it would have been in, like, high school. I know. normally that's when that's people hate their parents. I know. But no. Because when I was younger, and she did the most and best for me when I was younger because I was scared of everything. And she would just be like, go talk to that. Sample. Go stand go get a sample the, from that man go, or go stand, stand down downstairs in the, in the dark. dark or go just anything I was scared of. She was instantly like, nope, mm-hmm. you're doing it. And, you know, you had pretty normal. We, we weren't of the generation where it was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then the, the parents just like, oh, well, what am I going to do? They're not going to do it. That wasn't really. Yeah, no, it was, that wasn't an option. Once mom kind of gave you the little head tilt, the little like, go do it. You're like, oh, yeah. I only have one option here, and it's to do the thing. Authority was not lacking, which is good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then in high school, I think we were super close. And then now, it's not like we're not close anymore, but it's just like I don't live at home. I'm married. I, you know? That's but yeah, I feel yeah. incredibly, incredibly good about my relationship with my mother, especially compared to the world. Yeah. Like, we have a stellar. Su- we have a surprisingly stellar. close family we really for where do. we are for like we for really where we do. are in life i mean i'm obviously still living here mm-hmm. but i mean like lane is still close with us even though he's living in georgia mm-hmm. yeah i think our only like we're we have no animosity toward each other as brothers the only thing that would split us apart is just like forgetting to text each other on a oh for basis. sure that's hard. That's, Texting, you is know, we're just like, oh yeah, I haven't talked to you in months. I forgot you. I forgot you existed. Yeah. How are you? You know? Yeah. No, that's fair. But we'll see. I'm sure there will be. When I was at that. school, we didn't really talk much. Yeah. We talked a little. Like if I. But I mean, it's not question. like I think we have a good balance. But we can instantly of, come back together, and I it's think like, we have a good balance of like not the super clingy closeness mm-hmm. that is kind of gross to other people. Yeah. Like when you and Lane went off to college. Not gonna say. I, well, actually, I'll say it. I didn't really miss you. Oh no! Actively. You have the house. Yeah, you there, move up. There, in it the, was mostly pluses. It's, it's like a promotion, except for the. Yeah, I mean, I got more chores, so that was a downside. But yeah. you know, it was a good balance of like I'm not like weeping on the floor when you leave, yeah, but also no. I don't hate you. Yeah, I'm not like fine. I, it's not like dirt bag's gone. You know, some sisters who are like, "Oh my gosh, she's off to college now," and just like crying. Yeah, there was not a lot of it, tears. There, no, it's just like, "All right, see you, pal." Mm-hmm. I mean, it's only like see three months. Yeah, yeah. It's not that long. It's good. Our family's good. All right, that was the last question of the yeah. set. So, uh, how are we doing on time? Time wise, uh, we're at like. I mean, I'm not perfectly accurate with this because i'm doing some math and we might have started it a little early but we are nearing the half hour mark okay we'll probably five minutes Um, more we'll be around there well or my math completely off we should be around there did we have anything else we wanted to cover you want to do a draft real quick before we sign off let's draft well we were just talking about books let's draft books draft books wait okay question are we allowing a series? Or do you have to pick one book? Ooh. No, you can draft the series. Okay, because that way we won't just be like, I'll well, I'll take the first Narnia. Well, I'll take the second Narnia. Yeah, no. You can okay. draft you can draft the series. Alright, you wanna rock off for uh for first go? First pick? Can we just do best out of one? Yeah. Okay, rock, one, two, paper, two, scissors, Ah ha ha. For those who so, can't see, so what, uh, yeah. we, what we did rock, first, paper, scissors is this game. Rock, paper, scissors is a game where you either throw a rock, a paper, <laughs> or a scissors with your hands. A scissors and a scissors. Yeah. All right. Get yeah, off go me. with it. Okay. So, yeah, we tied first, and then we did. I whooped again. him. Casey beat me. So, best book of all time. Okay. I, kind of wishing I that I had lost. I hate not having time to prepare for this because I'm gonna forget like. 
Oh, where's some phenomenal well, books? If we're eat, what, five rounds, sound good? I'm or going. Less? I'm opening. Can my we good do five reads. rounds? Yeah, let's do five. No, no good reads. No, you, no, you got to use reads. your mind. No, I don't have anything. Yeah, because I've been telling you to download good reads for the longest time. All right, fine. This is when it comes in handy. Best book of all. T- okay, we can do series. Yeah. Then I will say the Time Quintet by Madeleine Langle, as she pronounces Langle. it. Langle. Yeah. No. As the French would. Langle. Madeleine Langle. 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 That's all. But a very good. That answer. is my favorite series. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start from the heart. Okay. The Little Bridges series. Oh, dang it. Ralph Moody. Mm. I haven't even read them all. He's a... I have. I'm rereading them. It's a good draft pick. That is a a solid man for your team. Yes. Okay. Listen to them. No matter how old you are. Listen to them on on audiobook. All right. I'm drafting Narnia. I will draft Mm. the entire Narnia series. That's a classic. Because, I mean, it's C.S. Lewis. Yep, it's just it's so good. Nothing wrong with that pick. What do we have up next on your team? I will say. I don't even know. You don't know. No, you've got a list in front of you, man. I know, but they're all so good. I should not be beating you in. Well, maybe I'm missing. Uh, Endurance by Shackleton. Well, it's not by Shackleton. I forget who it's by, but it's about Ernest Shackleton's Shackleton's voyage to. I'm just drafting all the ones that I read when I was little that I loved. Really? That's your second pick? No. Well, I've already locked it in. Yeah. I, it has to be. That feels He's like a, that's a now. miss. But it's a great a, book. M- no, it's it like, feels like a miss. It's about like overcoming adversity. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not drafting biography in my top five. No? No. Biographies are, they slap, dude. They're so good. Uh, no? No. Sorry, I was just. I'm blind. I gotta stop fiddling we're, with stuff. We're gonna have to remove all flashlights at the beginning of uh, I had it in my each pocket, recording. So I shown it in your eyes. It's your pick now. I can't see. I can't think. Uh, wow, it's just a little white dot following me all around. He blinks. A lot of lumens. You just digested. A lot of lumens. Yeah. Um, come on, come on. What's the book? What's the book? Time. Okay. I want to redraft. You want some more time while no. I repick? <sighs> Shackleton All right. was a miss. I All panicked. Right. Third pick, we are going to go with Lord of the Rings. J.R.R. Oh Tolkien. my gosh. How did I'm I taking miss that? I'm taking classics here, folks. How did I missed that. Okay. Well, you're doing serious, serious, serious. We should have limited it to Quality books. and quantity. We should have limited it to books. This well, was a mistake. Yeah, you picked one that's right. got like nine I'm books. I'm drafting a tale of two cities. That's a that's a big fella. It is that is a big book. It's just wonderful. I still it's haven't read it. I should, it's though. truly a classic, and it should be. It's the it's one of the only books I've ever cried when I, found, oh. I when I read. That it. is not a uh, yeah. small category for me. I, I'm sure it's a small category. It's a tiny. Ca- I think it might just be that one book. I cry at most books I read. Surprisingly, really? yeah, yeah, no, I don't cry. It <sighs> okay, a lot. Next pick for me. So Fourth, good. second to last pick of the draft. Ooh, what do I say? There's a lot of good books out there. There is a lot of good books. A lot of good books. Uh, I feel like I'm maybe missing something, but no. Now we'll go with this. Uh, the Screw Tape Letters. Again, C.S. Lewis. Mm. Man you, comes up twice in my top man, five. Man, two C.S. Lewis's. Yeah. C.S. Yeah. Luai? C.S. Luau. Luau. That's a good one. That is a good one. Those are this is just if we if so we good. had decided to do this a week ago and I would have had time to like come up with a list. You think you'd be shooting me out of the water it, here? No, I just think my answers would be so different. Probably because I'm I'm sure that I'm just like blanking on the best books. Oh, I've ever probably read. yeah, for sure. Um, best book of all time. I'll go with One Doctor because I read that really? recently. It was just so good. I don't agree with everything that he said, but it was just like really well written by uh, Brendan Brendan Riley, Doctor Doctor Riley, Doctor Brendan Riley, and he just goes so well between like discussing bioethics and then it's like narrative about his life and then like discussion about the ethics of well, the healthcare system and well, everything in medicine. 
and what it means to be a doctor, and then back to narrative. You're definitely I'm, doing oh, awesome, doing well on the information side because I currently don't have anything that's nonfiction. Yeah, I have. I have magical worlds, but what did I say for my first two? Ralph Moody. Yeah, and then what did I say? Endurance, or was that three? That was three. Was it? I don't remember what you said for your second one. This is why no. I, I think I said second. endurance second. Okay. Have we only What'd drafted say? three? No, that was four. What were your three? Four. Uh, Time Quintet, Narnia, Lord of the Rings, the thing I just said. Screw tape. Yes. Well, I, oh, Tale of Two Cities. Oh, yeah. That was my third. Forgettable. Okay. Um, Not for, oh, stop it. Okay, last, last book. Who do I who not want to leave cut? out? Who makes the cut? I'm tempted. I just read The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury, which is a mm. compilation of short stories, and they're all so good. I gotta read but that. I don't think I can say that. <sighs> There's a lot of good books out there. I'm thinking of my bookshelf. I'm like going through my alphabetized books. I'm trying to see if there's anything I'm missing. All right, we're going to do a, a From the Heart pick mm. later gotta, in the drafts than you. you. Gotta have at least one of those. This is just because, like, read them... These are books I cried You're going to say Curious George, aren't you? What? Is it... No? Okay. I mean... I'm sorry. Those are... <laughs> Didn't read where you were going with that. Is that your final pick? Mm. Do we have latent George tendencies like, can I draft lurking here? Bob books? Oh. The How to Read? Cat Sat. Yeah. Cat Sat. Ooh, actually. Do Fat I, Cat do I, Sat. Do I draft... On, Hug Rug. Do I draft Bug? Dr. Seuss? No. Um, I think I'm going to go with another series... I didn't mm. pick a single, You're single book. Worst. Ranger's Apprentice. Mm. Never, Just because I never that, finished that series. Oh, man. Heart. Last, the 11th book specifically, because it's just a, like, he wrote stories to answer letters he had gotten. Mm. And most of the questions were like, how did, the, how did they live this long? How did the, why is his horse the same 40 years later? So it's just a lot of, like, here's the death of a character. Here's another story on the death of a character. Cool. The camera stopped recording again. Did the same thing in, in part one. I'm gonna start awesome. Again. I don't know why. We gotta figure that out. We do. We really do. <sighs> Anyways, after a little technical Your final pick? My final pick. Top five books. I think I'm going to say... Uh, I'll, I'll just say... The Unreliable Man. Shout out Aaron Philippi for suggesting this book to me. Very good. And I, I, don't, uh, I don't think it's actually in my top five, but it's the only one coming to mind right now. Oh, wow. And it was so well written. It's just like the buildup. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a long book, but the buildup is so good. And it like the way it releases certain information about the plot like you're kind of that's, lost you're very lost that's the beginning, always good in the book and then you slowly start getting like no, I, piece I, by I piece love that. and it's just incredibly well done i love that in the book and when it's, it's like, like a good slow yeah. release of information it is very, very well very done good. and very like yeah it just felt good it was like satisfying at the end of like that's good that was when things it was are, like when you see a good movie up, and you're yeah. just like that's, that's amazing yeah just like oh yeah all my so questions it's a, so are it's a film of a book it is a film of a book. All right. Yeah. We got to come up with a term for that. We got to have Aaron on the podcast. We do. And talk about drafting books with him. We should. We He'd really probably should. draft five books that no one's ever heard of. I know. We, well, we need to trick him into coming on, have him draft books, write them all down, and then read them so we become better Aaron, people. Aaron, draft the top 100 books yeah. you have. What, um, what you reading lately, Aaron? Says what? the name. All right. All right. Next. Okay. Next. next. Yeah. I, you I, don't need to tell it's me. It's fine. Don't ruin it. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks like a will be the uh, end of of part two, episode two. That yeah. So that's a wrap. Yeah. Thanks to everybody. Thanks for, for hanging in there. Whoever can hear this, probably a very few. Who's, whoever actually continued and watched the second. I half guarantee of this you, episode. everyone was like, "Man, they're talking about books." Done. <laughs> that was a good probably episode. Skip. All all like twenty people skip. listening to this. Yeah, if all of that, our, our many listeners. many many subscribers. Hey, yeah. maybe people will come back. You know, it'll be like a. I wonder what Mr. Beast's first video is. Yeah, exactly. Maybe people will come back and be like, "Wow, this is awful." Well, if you're no if wonder you're back, and you've made it this far, if we're talking to the future, 
Wait, say a year, because it'll feel way more personal if it's like in the future and they're listening to it in that year and you just say the year. Mm. That's Ray Bradbury. In his books, there's a lot of pop up of like 2019, Stop and it feels like oh, he's yeah. watching me. Oh my gosh, yes! In Fahrenheit 451, they're like back in 2020. The nuclear war in 2023. All right, so let's let's hear your year. What are you betting on? If you're listening from 2027, because you were curious about our first podcast, then look under your pillow. I hid something for you. Well, that's not creepy. I will I say. I was trying to think. Of I something. will say hello in uh, if in twenty thirty. Thirty. I like my good zeros. If you're listening to this and your name is Steve, I just want to say, I hear you. That was a. I see you. Very detailed. I'm not following you. That. We'll see if it pans. Twenty thirty, Steve. Curious about podcasts. He could be out there. He is out there. He is. Out there. I know, Steve. I know. He's young now, but in 30 years. 30 years? Or in seven. I did not say 2053. Seven years. Seven years. I'm in 2030 is what I meant. Yes. Steve right. will be listening. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed, feel free to do any of the following. Like. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Leave a rating. Share. Download. Or donate. Find and follow us on Instagram at... To the point podcast underscore. Peace. See ya. Bye. Sayonara. Adios. Abianto. Uh, Rose for life.